A construction crane fell on the Oasis of the Seas in dry dock a couple days ago at the shipyard in Freeport, Bahamas. It's caused all kinds of trouble for the next month for the Oasis of the Seas. We'll recap the story right after this. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Tony with Lalita Loca. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you are into cruising, consider subscribing to the channel for all of your latest cruising content. So the Oasis of the Seas is one of the cruise ships that we have been on. I can go ahead and say it is my favorite cruise ship. And so I was super saddened to hear that during its dry dock process where it was getting some upgrades down at the shipyard in Freeport, Bahamas, a construction crane fell onto the aft of the ship, causing significant damage. There were some injuries associated with it. Uh, the reports are eight construction workers were injured and fortunately not in a life-threatening way. And so uh, not only sad, first of all, because people were injured, but sad that there's damage to the Oasis of the Seas. And there was a good 24-hour period. What would happen to the Oasis of the Seas sailings coming up this month? They were scheduled to just in a few days to resume their sailing schedule with cruises in the Caribbean. Would this have an impact? The answer is yes. Royal Caribbean issued a statement yesterday sending out emails to people that were booked and to travel partners saying that indeed there was enough damage done to the Oasis of the Seas that it would not be sailing for the rest of April. So the next three sailings on the Oasis of the Seas have been canceled. They are moving the ship to a shipyard in Cadiz where they will continue to repair and then they will be sailing again in May of 2019. The big impact here is uh, cruisers. This one accident has erased the cruise for thousands of cruisers. The Oasis of the Seas holds between 4,000 and 6,000 people. Multiply that times three. Up to 18,000 people have now had their cruise canceled uh, by just some freak accident. It's the cruise life. It happens. They say that ship happens. And so you have to be prepared for it. But I could not imagine being one week away from my cruise, being two weeks away from my cruise, and to have that cruise canceled. Now, fortunately, Royal Caribbean are very good about trying to make things better for customers that uh, this would have completely taken them by surprise. And so they are giving a 100% refund to people that had cruises booked on the Oasis of the Seas, which you would expect. And then they're going the extra mile and they are giving a 100% cruise credit, future cruise credit on another Royal Caribbean ship. Uh, so if you if your cruise costs you $2,000, you get your $2,000 back and you get $2,000 to spend on a future Royal Caribbean cruise credit. They're also making some accommodations for people that had flights booked. And uh, so they're really going above and beyond uh, to take care of a, a situation that nobody anticipated. I definitely have the feels for people whose cruises got canceled. We have people in the La Lita Loca cruising community that uh, were scheduled to go on cruises over the next three weeks on the Oasis of the Seas. It's my favorite cruise ship. That's the latest update on the Oasis of the Seas. Uh, continue to check back with La Lita Loca for all the latest cruise tips and cruise news. Anything about cruise ships, uh, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. If you found the information helpful, give it a thumbs up. This is Tony with La Lita Loca, and until the next time, see you on the Lido. Bye.